Again, hello. Welcome to Hattie Waiver Wire Guru. Getting ready to go to week 14. This should be playoffs for most of you or last week of regular season. Hope you've been winning. What we're going to do, we're going to go right through quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, and tight ends. Gotten a lot of feedback. Um, the way that I'm going to do this, I'm sorry to mix it up so much, is I'm going to have your grabs. These are the guys you definitely want to go and get. Watch lists. These are people I'm keeping an eye on or people you could use as a deep sleeper. And then finally, your spot starters. This is for injuries or underperformers. So, we'll get into quarterbacks. No grabs this week, but I've got some watch. Uh, TJ Yates, Houston. The problem with this pick is Andre Johnson, and that's why he's only a watch. Andre Johnson tweaked that hamstring again, so TJ Yates was looking pretty good there as a you know, quarterback two uh, type guy with some upside as a rookie for Dynasty Leagues. But right now, he's just a watch. Uh, moving on, Dan Orlovsky uh, from Indianapolis. Obviously, he had a lot of garbage time against the... Um, New England Patriots and threw up a lot of numbers there. Uh, but, you know, for people really searching for that quarterback, at especially 2QB League, or just you're really struggling or you need to gamble, you know, Orlovsky could be someone to gamble on. Wouldn't be my favorite go to guy, but someone I'm watching. And then also I'm watching Matt Moore, putting up consistent numbers, enough to do a little bit of damage, but for the most part, um, you know, I'm looking at Matt Moore as just somebody that, you know, for an emergency starter. And then finally, your spot starter is Kevin Cobb. He's come back off his injury, looked healthy. Obviously, they won the game. Um, so Kevin Cobb would be somebody with a lot of upside right now. That's on a ton of waiver wires. Going to running back, your grab is Marion Barber. Forte uh, is going to be injured, going to be out probably for the rest of the fantasy season. So Marion Barber is certainly a must grab. you got to grab that guy. And then also... Grab Maurice Morris. Uh, I talk about him every week. He put up good numbers last week. Kevin Smith, again, you know, with that injury, just doesn't look right. You know, it looks like Kevin Smith has a certain injury. Maurice Morris steps in. He's a wonderful PPR guy. If you're in a PPR league, Maurice Morris is an awesome uh, grab. Uh, watch Dexter McCluster. Sometimes can fill in as a wide receiver or running back. Uh, he's a dual position type guy. Um, he's only a watch for me because he's a boomer bust type candidate. Uh, he can have a good week, but then next week he could be junk. So that's something you got to think about. And then finally, uh, sorry, another watch is Brandon Sane. Uh, he is on Green Bay. He's a young guy. Starks could be out. Uh, Brandon is going to be okay, um, I think, as a fill-in, but not someone I'm just running out and going with. He's certainly a gamble. Wide receivers. Uh, nobody to grab, but you can watch. Devin Aroma should do, uh, you know, with Jenkins out, uh, Aroma should do is picking it up, Ponder's looking his way, and I like him in a PPR league for sure. Uh, he's a watch, but, you know, he definitely could be used. Next guy is Brad Smith. I've been talking about him. I'm telling you, he's going to be on the field all the time, uh, going to get those looks, and is a PPR pick for sure. I mean, if you are hurting that wide receiver, if you went Aroma should do and Brad Smith in PPR league, you're going to get some points. Um, next is Pierre Garçon with Orlovsky at the helm. He looks at Garçon. We've seen this before. He, you know, obviously Garçon got a couple touchdowns this week. Don't expect that every week, but do know that Garçon's value went up with the QB change. And then also Andre Roberts. Uh, he's starting to look good with Kevin Cobb back. You know, Andre Roberts has big playability and someone I I look at. You know, not going to be someone I would be the one wanting to really start him, but if you needed someone really bad, you'd have to be in a dire straight situation, then you can look that way. Finally, uh, you got some spot starters. Sidney Rice is out on injured reserve, so Golden Tate, he's got some opportunities. I like uh, his upside, a lot of upside actually for Golden Tate, and it would be the only wide receiver in Seattle I'd look at. Uh, and then also your spot starters, Chaz Schillings. On uh, Oakland, he's quietly just putting up good numbers, you know, like the last two weeks looks good and could be somebody, Chaz Shillings could be someone definitely as a spot starter for sure. He's got that um, ability to put up numbers. Tight end, you can watch Logan Paulson. Logan Paulson is Fred Davis's fill-in. Fred Davis could be out the next four weeks on a drug suspension. Um, that's yet to be determined, but I would count on Fred Davis not being there for you. So, you know, Logan Paulson, watch him now. Stash him if you have to. Don't, I don't think you go and start him next week. we got to see how well he performs because uh, Fred Davis is a special talent. And then finally, your spot starter is uh, Anthony Fasano. Just 
Matt Moore is looking his way. I mean, you can expect about three catches and 40 yards every week from Pisano with a potential touchdown upside. So that makes a nice spot starter if you're hurting. Uh, and that's it. If you have questions, go to facebook.com slash Guru. I will answer them. Also, you can go to my website, HattieWaverWireGuru.com. Find me on Google+. Plus. You know, definitely get into that. I know that's a big thing. I enjoy Google+. Plus. And then also, um, you know, I've got weekly rankings. I've got articles for deep sleepers. I've got links for websites to check out, Hattie Waiver Wire Guru. Good luck in your playoffs or your final game in your season. Hope you're doing well. That's it.